The Boston Red Sox have been around for 123 seasons, making them one of the oldest franchises in Major League Baseball. And this is a team that dominated back in the 1910s, winning multiple World Series championships. But we all know the tale of the curse of the Bambino, that with despite Hall of Fame talent like Ted Williams, Wade Boggs, Roger Clemens, the Red Sox went almost 100 years without winning a World Series championship. That curse was finally broken in 2004 when the Red Sox beat the Cardinals in the World Series. And since we entered the 21st century, the Red Sox have actually been the most successful franchise in baseball when it comes to World Series championships. They've won four. Now the Red Sox are obviously in a little bit of a tough spot right now, considering they play in a very competitive division and it doesn't feel like their roster is true up to par with some of the other teams in that division. But who knows, man? Boston is always going to be an attractive place for players to play. Fenway Park is iconic. The Red Sox as a franchise is iconic. So maybe Boston will be back on the uptick coming soon. But today I'm going to be using my all-time Red Sox team in MLB 23. Now, first off, obviously the biggest thing about this team is that we don't have Ted Williams. Like, I don't know why Ted Williams is not in the game. He was in MLB The Show a few years ago. It's crazy to me that we don't have him. So obviously he's a big omission. But this all-time Red Sox team usually ends up looking pretty similar year to year. So I did make some changes to this team this year. And the biggest thing I did is I eliminated Babe Ruth from the offense completely. I still have his 97 in the rotation because if you look at it, a lot of Babe Ruth's best hitting seasons came as a Yankee and he did a majority of his pitching as a member of the Red Sox, so I think this is fine. But taking out Babe Ruth from the offense, let me open up a few more spots to put in guys like J.D. Martinez and Kevin Euclid out in the outfield. I was also able to move Mookie to center field, which opened up second base for a new legend in the game, Mike Lowell. And I definitely think he should be a starter on this team considering he won World Series MVP in 2007. Now, the most difficult position for me to lock down on this team was third base. It was either between Wade Boggs or Rafael Devers. I I went with Wade Boggs, but if you went with Devers, I wouldn't blame you. The rest of the bench has Mike Napoli, Johnny Damon, and Jackie Bradley Jr. The rotation, of course, starts with Pedro Martinez, followed by Chris Sale, Babe Ruth, Cy Young, and Lefty Grove. Not really the strongest rotation from all-time teams, that's for sure. And the bullpen's okay. We got Kenley Jansen, Chris Martin, Garrett Whitlock, Billy the Kid is a lefty with Kimbrel, Eckersley, John Schreiber, and Nathan Eovaldi. And I will be using the Tier 3 boost for John Schreiber, and that affects some pretty good attributes. So yeah, this is the all-time Red Sox. I think it's time we get in a game and play with this team. My opponent for this video will be a viewer of the channel named Scorpio. And we've got Pedro Martinez against Nathan Eovaldi. Bro, this captain boost actually makes this Pedro card insanely good. Look at Pedro's attributes with this captain boost. 123 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine, 114 walks per nine. Like, dude, this card is sick. I wish we didn't have to use a captain boost to get this Pedro to be this good. I feel like Pedro Martinez should just be dominant for, you know, basic reasons. Oh, that's a hanger. Got away with one to start the game. I've won four games in a row in all-time teams. I'm four and two. Started off slow, but we've really been on a nice little winning streak. Let's keep it going today. Let's make it five in a row. Let's hit Schwarber with the slider low. Ooh, let's go, Pedro. One, two count. Let's go with a curveball. Got him. What a strong inning from Pedro. Let's get this thing started, man. It's alive. Why did I hesitate so much there? Oh, yeah. That's foul. And then he follows up with that splitter. That's a perfect pitch. Damn, what a sequence. I don't want to talk about that. Did I face Nathan Eovaldi when I did the all-time Rangers? That was one of the videos where I lost. I'm pretty sure I faced Eovaldi in that game and I struggled to hit him for a few innings. And I used Eovaldi one time when he first came out and I threw like a complete game shutout, I think. Why does that Eovaldi seem like it's so much better than it actually is? He's no Pedro Martinez though. Three, two count. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna go with a circle change low and away. That sucks. Off the end of the bat. We're good. One out away. Got to be real careful to Big Poppy right here. Got to get him to keep missing. I'm actually going to go right back to that exact same pitch. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> what a snag. 
from Big Poppy. Has he ever made a play like that in his life? All right, no more playing around. Let's hit the ball hard this inning. Need to get Pedro some help. Ball four. All right, first base runner for me. Oh, that might be a fluke hit. JD just got a fluke big time. Hey, I'll take it, man. Two guys on, nobody out. Let's move. Three, two. Come on, let's load these bases. I missed it. Oh, it sucks. Come on, Wade Boggs. This is a big spot early in this game. Come on, man. I've... Oh, how am I late? Man, I cannot believe I'm not pulling that pitch. Come on, Jim Rice. Kind of close to the pesky pole, honestly. Well, that's a huge missed opportunity. Speaking of the pesky pole, do I do, I do the thing? Do I do the thing? I'm pretty sure I've done this every single year for the all-time Red Sox. For those of you who don't know, there's an Easter egg on the foul pole at Fenway Park. If you zoom in real close, there's a bunch of graffiti on the pole and you may notice that's my logo. Yeah, we went to the studio a few years ago and they let us, you know, do a bunch of drawings that they were gonna put on the pole out there. And my logo has been in the game for about four years now, so it's always kind of a cool thing to point out. If you've been watching the channel for years, you're, you probably just skipped through this whole part of the video because you've heard this 80 times. Good pitch, very good cutter. Let's try a cutter low and inside this time. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Pedro is really looking like prime Pedro right now. This offense has to wake up and help him out here soon. No, that's not it. Why am I pulling that? I feel like I'm seeing the ball pretty well, but the timing is just not consistent. Ball four. Let's go. Got to find a way to bring him in. Thought that was going to be a slider, not a splitter. Fair ball. boy, Big Poppy. That gets him to third base. Hopefully, Ortiz can get to second. Please don't be thrown out. We're good. Please, Jimmy, just to base it up the middle. That splitter is so tough to read. What a perfect pitch, man. This is tough to score right now. Little pitcher's duel through the first three innings in the all-time Red Sox. Okay, I do like my chances with Pedro on my side. Let's see if I can just get a fastball by Kyle Schwarber low and in. Yes, I can, 100 on the dot. Tough at bat here. He's fouling off a lot of the off-speed pitches with early swings, so I'm gonna go cutter away. Not even offering. All right. I made a mistake pitch with a changeup. I got away with it. I'm going to follow it up with a fastball up top. Yes. Dude, Pedro hasn't allowed a hit through four innings. Doesn't really matter, though, if the offense can't support him. Oh, okay. We just got a pitching chain. No more Eovaldi. JD Martinez doesn't care who's on the mound. He's going to rip a single to left field. Honestly, kind of surprised he took out Eovaldi. He allowed some base runners, but I mean, he was getting up. Ball's hit well, but I don't think that's traveling out. Oh, 380, dude. Runs are at a premium right now in Fenway. This is fun, though, man. All-time teams, we've seen both ways. We've seen pitchers duels. We've seen some, you know, offenses really pop off. I like the variety we're getting in the series this year through the first six episodes and now into episode number seven. There we go, pop up. And honestly, man, I think playing friendlies has been really good for this series. I get to involve some viewers i get to involve some other content creators we just kind of get a nice mix i get to use whatever cards i want instead of having to rely on the sets and season stuff i think all-time teams has been great this year another strikeout for pedro he's at nine in the fifth come on double digit strikeouts come on bro i just I am really struggling to square up anything. I'm seeing pitches, I'm getting in good hitters counts, but man, I just, I can't, I'm, I'm not squaring up the ball. It's a lot of weak contact. My hits are like, you know, kind of just down the line. I need a line drive into the gap or something over the fence. I'll take anything. Another walk for Mookie. I'd like to swing the bat with him, but hey man, I'm not gonna give him free strikes. Let's go. I, that cutter away has been uh, it's been killing me, man. I keep doing the same thing. Pedro Martinez literally has a no-hitter going through five, and the offense is doing horrible. 
might be the best swing of the day for either side. There it is. That's 11 strikeouts for Martinez. I'm going to try to drop a fastball low and away. Maybe catch him off guard here. I don't like this. I mean, I like that Pedro has six no-hit innings, but I don't like that he put up two decent swings that inning, and I'm still struggling to hit a cutter. Something has got to give. Come on. Okay, that was just weird. I don't know what to say about that. Okay, let's go. No way, JD's about to fluke him twice, right? Once again, the cutter. I, I got to change my approach. Maybe I got to stop sitting inside with righties and just keep my PCI over the middle. I don't know what to do, but I got to figure something out because I have no runs through six innings while my starting pitcher is throwing one of the best pitching performances of the year. This feels a lot like the all-time Diamondbacks video. This is probably going to be one of those games where the first team to score is going to be the team that wins. Got him. 12. I want this change up to work, man. Change up, low and away. Really happy that went off the monster. We can still get out of this inning. There goes the no hitter, but we have more important things to worry about than a no hitter right now. I need to win the damn game. Oh, Jim Rice, make a play, make a play. Right at the wall, beautiful. Come on, get the ball out. Probably not getting him. Okay, he's 90 feet away, come on. Biggest spot of the game right here. Euclid, bail me out. Okay, man, I don't know. Pedro might not be able to go very much further in this game. The no hitter is over. The shutout is still intact, but I don't like that he hit the ball that well that inning. I, it might be time to make a move. I'm going to get the bullpen going just in case. Okay, new arm here for the seventh with Jake Diekman. I'm leaving Wade Boggs in. I'll work with it. Okay, right, who's up next? Is it Mike Lowell? Come on, man. Base is loaded. Nobody out for Mookie Betts now. Literally nobody better at the plate. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. I can't blow this, man. You gotta be... Oh, my God, dude. I am the worst situational hitter that has ever played this game. Like, the Xander swing wasn't that bad. It just went... You know, right to the shortstop. How did I strike out with Mookie there, man? That's ridiculous. Just got to keep making plays, man. You know what? I'm going to actually take out Pedro right here. I know it's a lefty right now. I'm going to go to Kenley Jansen. Would have liked to have seen Pedro go for the CG, but I, that, that just can't be the focus right now. It has to be trying to win this game. That was a really dangerous pitch to Big Poppy. Out of baby, Xander. Oh, I need to see a run, dude. I can't believe we're in the eighth inning and it's 0-0. This is like the Vikings Raiders game yesterday. It's alive. It's alive. Was I late? I had to have been late, right? Yeah, I felt like my PCI was good there. That's bad. I didn't even start my PCI in that time. I just, I'm not locked in hitting wise. That I, I feel like I squared that one up, but all right, we're going to the ninth in a 0 0 ball game with the all time Red Sox. And if I win this game, this will be the first video in this series that will end in a walk off. Are we for real? Oh my god, that wasn't even close. Okay, okay, come on now, come on. I've got to figure this out. I'm going to, I'm going to warm up Billy the Kid and bring him in. This would be a devastating ninth inning if I gave up these runs. I have to at least make him earn it, dude. He's got on by a bunt and a walk. Come on. That's a massive pitch. This is the scary at bat. Trevor Story, he hits lefties well. Um, hmm. I can't, I can't walk him because he could just pinch hit for Devers. I'm just going to have to try to make a good pitch. Let's go. Oh my God. He might be worse at situational hitting than I am. Fastball high and in on Devers. Let's go, baby. Billy Wagner out of the bullpen may have just saved us this game. It's time for a walk-off. There it is. Wade Boggs. 
Walk off home run to win one to zero with the all time Red Sox. It extends the win streak to five in a row. And that's the most electric finish in all time teams so far. With all the opportunities I had to score, I'm surprised that it took me that long to get a run. But this team was carried on the backs of the pitching staff, man. Pedro Martinez striking out 12 through seven and a third. Billy the Kid coming out of the bullpen and getting three massive strikeouts to save that ninth inning and then wade boggs stepping up when we needed a hero what a finish with the all-time red Sox! good game to my opponent scorpio runs were at a premium that game and we came out on top i'll see you guys in the next all-time team